Starting lineup brought to you by Steak and Shake, famous for steak burgers. Now here's an interesting lineup. Uh, we're calling it the Mini Me backcourt with Andre Barrett and, and uh, Jameer Nelson, both under six feet tall, joining Tony Batie, Dwight Howard, and Deshaun Stevenson for Barrett, his first career NBA start. Azurich has played very well of late. Look at this. Barrett finds Howard in the fast break offense. Uh, after that poor shot by Gadzarich, kind of looked, took the air out of the building and his uh, doing a very good job on the defensive board for the most part. The little guard staying in there, and when they do that, you'll still be able to run. Dwight Howard above the rim. And the referee jumped in. Tied at 96. Francis loops one high. Garrity able to save. Bad pass from Francis. Barrett, catch and shoot for two. Andre Barrett has given the Magic a two-point lead. We might have a few people in the stands here watching him tonight as well. A battle here at the Meadowlands with just over three minutes to play. The next trail by two. Christich ball fake. Buford, the penetration. Denial on the inside. Rodney Buford has given the net very little here tonight as Garrity fights through it. Barrett, he's torching him. Andre Barrett, another jump shot to hurt the Nets. A seven, nothing run. With 2.44 left here in the fourth. Out with an injury playing particularly good basketball, but I think most of those votes were already in. I thought you said in a pregame show. He really exposed the Suns in the playoffs last year, and all of a sudden they, they decide we've got to go out and get a defender, a tough guy. Of open opportunities, and has taken advantage. Four of six, 11 points, and yet another three-pointer for San Antonio, but Phoenix right back, that counts, and a foul. And Eddie House. Uh, rather, uh, Andre Barrett will go to the line, fouled by Udrich. Well, Phoenix picked up Barrett because of his ability to do this, penetrate, get into the lane. He's normally a, a terrific distributor, but he has the open shot there, gets it to go, and finishes it, knocks down the free throw. Sun's within 16, but sooner or later. And run down by Barrett. So Barrett and House in the backcourt. Diaw is up front. And Andre Barrett. Showing with 50% too, but uh, Washington is getting uh, an extremely high percentage. Yeah, not too far from 80% in the period. Andre Barrett scored the field goal, and he's fouled. Andre Barrett. It's on Gilbert Arenas. That's his fourth personal. His fourth personal. Let's see what's hap what happens. He gets okay, caught up in a pick. One more shot. Actually, he looked like anyone was keeping uh, time on that. Maybe Ed Rush from the scores table. Oh, gets back. He's his own worst enemy. And that team is still winning. His numbers are down. Well, Parker's numbers are up. So he has to be considered. Sam Mitchell was talking about the MVP. Thomas. The way LeBron James has played lately. He has elevated himself definitely up into that stratosphere. I mean, the 46 he put on, I don't know who the other night, but it was ridiculous to, to solidify. Andre Barrett looking over for instructions from his head coach, Sam Mitchell. Earning a couple of 10-day contracts here with the Raptors. Now Barrett running the point, 10 on the shot clock. Five seconds separating the game clock from the shot clock. Barrett past Tim Tom to Suns Charities, and the Suns now have lined up and knocked down 12 three-pointers. Most teams with the run Toronto has put on the Suns as Barrett knocks down another one. Good defensive play. He's already accounted for six points. With effort. Double team on T-Mac. Barrett takes it to the middle. Little jackknife for two. Hey, that's a nice little layup there. Hey, he used to do that at Seton Hall all the time tonight. And they're going to stay in the zone and really, really be conscious of where Tracy McGrady is. Andre Barrett with a three. You, when you score on this end, 
when Barrett scores, I've not said many things of this nature. You you have got to get back. Helping Yao Ming doesn't need any help on Brown. Don't double down. He's big enough. He can handle Brown. Well, Yao has five fouls. I guess they're trying to protect him. He might. Barrett with the jumper. Got it. New season, new career high of nine points. For Barrett. The screen and he's just shooting over Wesley. Wesley's a little too small to guard Tracy yeah. McGrady when he's coming off the curve. Wouldn't normally be guarding him either, except with all those injuries. They're gonna run the same play again, a little screen away, watch him come back out, pop out, and, help, and then they're gonna try to double team him this time. They made him give up the ball, but that leaves Barrett open and he hits again. Well, the more minutes, the more. And tonight's Landry's signature group player of the game is young Andre Barrett. Andre tonight, new career high in minutes with 28, career high in points with 13. He will receive a $50 gift card from the Landry Signature Group of Restaurants. First round draft pick for the Spurs last season. Here's Diaw. And the shot by Barrett. Well, Barrett getting into the flow here. These are important minutes for him in case Nash is out. And he Finds Barrett near the half court stripe. Coming up on eight minutes left. Barrett. Time running out, guys. Yeah. Took him a long time to get into this set. Barrett starts to drive. Goes up good and a foul. Nice move. Go up under those big guys, you get by Ruffin. Nice and strong move. I mean, here it is, a little give and go. A little dribble handoff. Tax the rim. Boom. And one. Bear is pretty explosive for a little guy. Oh yeah. Don't be fooled by the size. I mean, he's he's explosive. Solid. 22.4 seconds ago. I wouldn't be surprised if he had to go to Adrian Griffin, the veteran on the floor. There was a run. There it is. And now the Wizards with a 20-second timeout. We missed three free throws. They came down, they had possession, that offensive rebound, missed it. Here's that shot by Barrett, nicely done. 43 seconds, they got the rebound back. The Bulls were able to take a timeout with 23 seconds, and then bing, but only 17-7 left. Barrett hits a shot. A uh, turnover or two fewer. They might have been right back in this, maybe even with a lead, but as it is, they're down seven. Out of the corner, Barrett, jumper good. And that's a three, There's the three ball by Barrett. And all of a sudden, it's a four-point game. Less than a minute to go. Cavaliers by one. Nine points for Arenas. They swing it into the corner now underneath. Derek the rebound, puts it up and in. Look for their first points of the third quarter. We played a minute and a half here at the Bradley Center. Milwaukee leading the Magic by 14. They've led by as many as 16 in the game. Andre Barrett, Whoa. his first field goal of the night. Rebounded by Francis with 48 seconds to block. Francis through traffic. Stevenson on the perimeter. Another up start and over. From the corner, that's a triple. Uh, he stayed home and uh, unable to hit on that three. He came in and helped last night with 12 points at the Garden. Francis has passed to Garrity. Good hands there to keep that from going out of bounds. And Barrett hits another. That's a two-pointer. This is where the Nets struggled at the end of the second quarter. And this time, Lawrence Frank is not going to allow it to happen again. For Goldwire, all of his scoring, except uh, one first-half field of free throw rather, has come in this fourth period. And Andre Barrett right in the rebound for Orlando. The Milwaukee native. And now it's Barrett drilling the two point field goal. Nice mid range jump shot. Barrett lays it up and in. Barrett. That good. Barrett delivers to Hunter. Timeout on the floor. The Bucks. Increasing their lead to 22. Hunter shot a moment ago, cut it to 81-59.